Dream Team. It's your favorite duo, Darian. Mackenzie. Back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Brienne Worth once again. We love reacting to her videos. She's talking about Australian stereotypes. Before we jump into these stereotypes, y'all know I need y'all to subscribe to the channel. Ring notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Oh my god! thought it might be good to teach you how not to sit on a chair. All right, now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna need you to pull your head in, mate. Stop mucking around. Hello. You didn't need to come, but it's nice to see you. So I, in the past, have expressed my lack of delight in making these Australian type videos, but I'm worried that some of you might actually implode if I don't upload one of these. I get quite a lot of requests to make these videos. Some dude yelled at me across the street to make an Australian video, and not in a rude way either. It's very polite yelling. So here we are. I'm going to be assessing, analyzing, critiquing, comparing, and contrasting Australian stereotypes. Basically, just reading what people think Australians are and saying whether or not it's bullshit. Before we get started subscribe if you feel like it but go follow me on instagram at brianne worth also if you like this serotonin t-shirt it's available at my clothing brand riff supply co i will talk about that later i have heard that australia is a great place to live and that people are way more relaxed well, that's probably a hard one to start too. on. That's difficult to answer. As with anything, like yes and no. Some stereotypes are outright not true, but that one I feel like has some truth to it. I feel like for the most part, there is a culture of everyone being quite laid back. However, like any other country, we do have a vast selection of uptight assholes readily available <laughs> wherever you want them. What was the rest of it? It's a great place to live. I would agree with that 100%. It's really beautiful here. The scenery and the nature here is gorgeous. The beaches are friggin' mint. Like even oh our shit ones God. are pretty good got nice waterfalls, like nice mountains, forests, like beautiful rainforests, the most diverse rainforest in the world, even over the Amazon. We've got the reef, we've got Uluru, we've got like red desert backing onto like really turquoise oceans in some parts. There's snow sometimes. The economy is like generally not too bad, a little bit too reliant on mining, but pretty good still. We've got good health care. It is pictures a pictures look good though. Like all those pictures, I said, God. And it make you want to move there. Yeah, hey, <laughs> at least a little, little two week vacation or something. You feel me? Enjoy one of these beaches. Like Point of contention. We'll come someday, Australia. Y'all watch enough. We can save up enough money and we can come out there. Would you go out there with the spiders and the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We reliant on mining, but pretty good still. We've got good health care. It is a point of contention for some people, but we have a great welfare system. What else have we got? Koalas. And I rest my case. The people are ungodly beautiful. Depends. Really depends. Oh my god, are the kids ride to school on a kangaroo. If I see this one, we'll f it, I'm gonna shoot the person that writes it. But I can't because we've got great gun laws. <laughs> the heading just says barbecue. I agree. Mm. Yeah, look, we do froth the barbecue. I didn't know this. I was talking to someone from overseas the other day, meaning either yesterday or six months ago, I have no idea. And they said they don't have public barbecues. Um, I'm sorry that your government doesn't love you. I just feel like everyone's got the staple memory of like their favorite park when they were younger and all the families would go together and cook on the public barbecue. Put alpha oil down first or like bring your own yeah, cleaning yeah, products, yeah. especially. <laughs> especially since there was that barbecue pooper for a while there. There was some guy that was going around shitting on all the <laughs> shitting on all the public barbecues. It's not yeah, funny. I don't, I don't know if I can eat off of them after that, after uh -uh. knowing that. I was like, I know they clean it and everything, but no. still, I... <laughs> no, and no, and no, <laughs> and every which way you can say the word no. It might be some poop particles left on there. <laughs> no. <laughs> it just ain't happening. Uh, we had public barbecues, but they were like very simple. They weren't like electronic or nothing like... You just had to bring your own coal, yep. start the fire, uh, and they were like, oh, never really clean or anything. Mm -mm. So, yeah, we had them, but we didn't really use them. It'd be easier for someone to just bring their barbecue pit to the park. Yeah. Is that how it was out here, too? Yeah. <laughs> Leave a comment if you had, like, the barbecue memory as a child. I want to see if that's, like, a universal thing. Foster's beer. No one drinks that. We've got a lot of nice, like, craft beers, pale ales, whatever you want. Local breweries, like, they're everywhere. Why would you drink 
fucking Fosters. If you're an Australian that drinks Fosters, you are literally getting deported tomorrow by me. <laughs> Australians <laughs> wrestle crocodiles. No, we don't. <laughs> there is a handful of Australians that might wrestle crocodiles for fun, and I think it just ends at the Irwin family. We don't have yeah. alligators. Alligators are quite docile compared to like saltwater crocodiles, which is what we have here, which are animals that have just basically won the evolutionary jackpot. Saltwater crocodiles can live for months and months and months without any food, and they just sit there perfectly still and wait for something to come past and use all that energy grabbing it rather than like hunting it down. They are super intelligent for a lizard. Don't quote me verbatim on this, but there was that um, that instance where there were a group of campers and they were kind of camped near this river or something. And they'd been there for a few days and they're kind of, obviously humans have a routine that they get into. Saltwater crocodile was watching them, learnt their routine and then attacked based on when he knew they were sleeping in the tent. I don't know why the croc is a he, but it is now. <laughs> Speaking of waiting and lurking, their whole body is designed. Their body is like this and their two eyes go up like that so that they can be completely submerged and no one can see them and they can still have their eyes above the water so they can see everything that's happening. On top of that, they are 100% pure muscle. If you hold your hand out like this for a while, it'll start to shake eventually, same as if you use any of your muscles for too long. Crocodiles can hold like perfectly still, eerily still, not disturb the water, not do anything, just hold 110% still so as to not disturb the water above them when they are lurking. They have ridges on their backs, I don't know what they're called, not scales, but if scales were like on steroids, those things are apparently designed in such a way that they like redirect water so when they're like moving under the water they don't disturb the top layer of water or something like that just look into it honestly look into it it's amazing they're cold go say it said like she done did her fair share of crocodile research <laughs> <laughs> now i'm fascinated I, I feel like i'm in class right now being educated I swear, i'm like what if <laughs> <laughs> i love it though but yeah god Months without eating got me. I said months. <laughs> months. You can't go three hours. <laughs> I she not lying. Like <laughs> I gotta eat <laughs> to go. Months is insane, bro. Well, I get yeah. I guess they have on the evolutionary race. It only makes sense water or something like that just look into it honestly look into it it's amazing they're cold-blooded so if they can't eat for a while they can just sit there and they don't basically not using any energy whatsoever and they'll just wait for food to come to That's them crazy. much like myself <laughs> they have this transparent <laughs> eyelid that goes over their eye when they're diving so they can still see underwater but their eye is protected they can close their ear flaps so water doesn't get in they have a flap in their throat that closes so that they can eat and not swallow water and drown themselves like i'm pretty sure again don't quote me on this i can't be f googling it i'm pretty sure they swallow rocks to help them digest things they literally shift their lungs like move their lungs imagine moving your lungs but they move their lungs to like shift their center of gravity and move themselves up or down on each side of it. So they physically move their lungs around like floats. And I'm not even getting what? into your crocodile's jaw and all the like force and mechanisms going on with that. This was supposed to be a video about stereotypes, not my favorite crocodile facts. Um, anyway, we don't wrestle crocodiles, I think is the, the point of that message. For all of those reasons, we don't wrestle them. Most of Australia is desert. Um, I mean, yeah, no, that's true. But most of the population lives something like within an hour's drive of the coastline. People do live in the desert. Don't know why. Australians are self-absorbed. I would be inclined to agree with this. Case in point, the popularity of these videos and the people who watch them. Anytime an Australian achieves anything, the whole country steps up to claim it. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing and I also don't think it's unique to Australia. I think every country does this to an extent. I do think yeah. it could be because Australians are not um, like internationally represented in the media very much. Like growing up, for example, you're far more likely to see like American actors or British actors in movies and you're less likely to see Australians and even less likely again to see them as Australians and not like nice. pretending to be American or British or whatever it is. Obviously nice. there's heaps more Australian actors everywhere now, but maybe the reason we do get like quite excited when there's like Australian uh, like media representation, whether that's in a YouTube video or a movie or sports, whatever it is, maybe it's just because we don't see it as often as everyone else, you know? So yeah, probably a bit self-absorbed, I don't know. Aussies speak- I will say they produced Margot Robbie, so. You gotta love the land down under for Margot Robbie. You feel I me? I do love Margot Robbie. She's an incredible actress. Yes, she is. Maggie, there's another one too. I'm struggling to remember her name, but she's a hilarious actress. Uh, she's the mother from the movie with Mark Wahlberg and they adopt the kids. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, you know who Jacob Elordi is? 
Yeah. Tom Pernell, yep. yeah, he's from there too. Yep, he's Hugh Jackman. I got some dope uh, actors and yeah. actresses. Yeah, I mean, from they, come on, they produced Jacob. He said what? They produced Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> she said enough said. Enough said that you had me at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I feel, that's how I feel about Margo. <clears throat> Australian, not English. What? The language we speak is definitely English. Loosely, very loosely. Every animal is trying to kill you. I think we like to play this one up a bit, but no. <laughs> We've got like the worst kind of crocodiles, saltwater crocodiles, obviously. Box jellyfish, shit scared of those. Mm. Irukandji <laughs> jellyfish, mm. blue ringed octopus can kill you in like three minutes. Eight or yeah. nine out of 10 of the world's most deadly snakes. Not a good stat. <laughs> Cone shells, you pick up a shell at the beach, put it to your ear and you get like harpooned <laughs> by this little animal that kills yep. you. Stonefish, yeah. got stonefish. Oh, like we've got sharks, heaps of sharks. Forgot spiders, we've got so many spiders. I'm not even gonna go into all of them. We've got so many venomous spiders. They're all the bad ones, I guess. And then there's like the tier below that that are just incredibly painful, but won't kill you. There's plants. Mm. That'll f*** you up for the rest of your life. <laughs> that sting tree is a classic. If you brush up against it even a little bit, it puts all of these like harpoon like spear things, microscopic whatever it is, Ooh. into your skin. Can't really get them out ever. Super, super painful apparently, and the pain like doesn't go away for months. And even after years and years and years, if you scratch it or something, it still hurts. And hair never grows back in that spot. It's like, a, it's a whole thing. You've got waiter wiles. But she saw your hair never go back in that spot. <laughs> Hair. Oh, I was about to say, <laughs> what? What do you mean? I mean, the fact that a tree does that. I know. It's like we got poison ivy, but you recover from that quickly. Yeah, I, I don't think any of our trees are like Yeah, that. nothing like that, bro. Jeez. Hurts. Hair never grows it's back Australia, in that spot. It's like, a, it's a whole thing. We've got waiter wiles. Which are pretty Ooh. cool plants. I got one of those stuck in my head once. <laughs> it was Ooh. not a good time. But if you're ever lost in the rainforest, the vine leading up to that plant, you can cut it open and it's basically like a water tap with the freshest water in the world. Delicious, oh. would recommend. Try and avoid getting it stuck in your head though. Gone on another tangent. What was the original question? Every animal is trying to kill you. Despite all of what I just said, the likelihood that you're gonna run into any or all of those things is super low. And if you're just not an idiot, you should be able to avoid most of them. Australians are always drunk. Uh, probably. I feel like the younger generation is significantly less drunk than the older generation. So adolescent drinking fell from 45% in 1999 to 25% in 2015. Dang. Pretty big jump. 18 to 24 yeah. year olds dropped as well. But older Australians are either not slowing down their drinking or they're actually increasing. So good job guys. <laughs> Make of that what you will. All Australians are really, really tan. Um, for the most part, I think that's a fat no. I see a quite a lot of pasty people around. It never snows in Australia, it's just always hot. It snows sometimes. Don't ask me where, but it does. Threadbow, snows there. And even though it's hot so frequently, it's not always hot. Exhibit A, wearing a jacket. Uh, I'm scared to look up the temperature now because I'm gonna look like a little bitch. <laughs> I grew up in the tropics, I can't handle the cold at all. It's 23 degrees, so that's cool. I'm cold, but I would say that's cool for most people. I don't know. Don't at me. Australia has no culture of what do you call this, sweetie? We do have culture. <laughs> it's just everyone else's though. <laughs> Australians live for meat pies. Can confirm. <clears throat> oh, buddy, do I love a meat pie? Oh my God. Would I'm sad the bakery. Hmm. Would you eat a meat pie? Probably not. You probably, would you try one? Probably not. Why wouldn't you try a meat pie? It doesn't even sound good. It's like, it kind of looks like I've never had one, obviously, but it looks like those pot pies, like crust wise, mm -hmm. and then you like fill it with meat. You should already know I'm not gonna eat that. You could try it. You might like it. Do you like pot pies? No. Let's continue with the video. It's <laughs> <laughs> closed. Does everyone have a local bakery that they like claim is just the best bakery on planet Earth? Because mine's down the road and it is literally the best bakery. Oh, it's hard to say though, because there's one in my hometown, also the best bakery on planet Earth. If you're in Brizzy, can you comment some good bakeries? Thank you. Aussies also live for Tim Tams. I, oh, I do. Aussies wear thongs nice. all day, every day. Bold of you to assume we wear shoes at all. All Australians <laughs> have a pet koala. Shocked and upset that I don't. <laughs> People spamming me to make another one of these and the guy who uh, uh, yelled out. I think that's all for the for the Australia stereotypes. That was fun though. Uh, it, I always enjoy learning about Australia, and some of these stereotypes are just wild. Like you ride a kangaroo to school is just dumb. <laughs> ride <a> kangaroo. <laughs>
<laughs> like everybody has a pet koala, just dumb. Like some of these are stupid, and then some of those are spot on, and some of those I just don't know because I've never been there. But uh, that's all we got for this one. If y'all have a favorite video suggestion, subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. We out.